Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monday Night Raw. Things are getting out of control here in the parking lot. Nia Jax and Bianca Belair are going at it with everything they've got. This is, is absolute chaos, Cole. These two powerhouses are unleashing their fury right here outside the arena. Bianca Belair is showing incredible strength here. She's managed to turn the tables on Nia Jax, and now she's got her against the ambulance. The power of Bianca Belair is on full display, slamming Nia Jax with authority. Oh my God, what just happened? Bianca Belair has been struck by a car in the parking lot. Wait a minute, that figure stepping out of the car, could it be? It is, it's Alexa Bliss, what is she doing here? Alexa Bliss, the number one contender for the women's championship has just run over the champion Bianca Belair. Yo, Alexa, got a moment? I mean, sure. We need to talk about what happened back at Elimination Chamber, friend. You backstabbing me like that was not cool at all. I mean, you know the Elimination Chamber is every woman for herself, right? I saw the opportunity and rolled you up. Well, I didn't appreciate that at all. No hard feelings. I still consider you a friend. And I ended up losing the title anyway, so I don't get why you are mad. Well, the issue is that I don't have the title either. And I don't like that... So I am here asking for reasons as to why I shouldn't just blast you right here and take your spot as the number one contender. The reason is that I have a plan, Mia. You just need to trust me. I am getting tired of being your bodyguard while you are clearly only out here for yourself and nobody else. So I think I am just gonna take you out for good and then face Bianca Belair for the title myself. I actually kind of fancy my chances. Can you at least hear me out first, please? I'll give you 60 seconds, Alexa. After that, I'm gonna pick you up, slam you against that wall over them, then Samoan drop you through those equipment boxes over there. What about this? You help me take out Bianca, and then we can fight for the title between ourselves. You know what? Fine, let's do it your way. I kinda hate Bianca much more than I hate you. I can't stand her, and I need my revenge for what she did to me a few weeks back. But if you try and mess with me again, I will come after you. Keep that in mind and make sure you don't forget it. Otherwise, we are going to have some problems. Jordan, last week you shocked the NXT universe by attacking Lyra Valkyria. Can you shed some light on your actions? Absolutely. Let me make one thing clear. I'm sick and tired of NXT talent being praised as the best when TNA's women's division is stronger and better than ever. We have some of the most talented and dominant women in the industry, and it's time for us to be recognized for it. Let's be real here. Lyra Valkyria may hold that NXT Women's Championship, but she's nothing more than a flash in the pan. She's Zakin Shumaitz. She's small, she's insignificant, and she's certainly not in my league. I mean, just look at me. I'm bigger, I'm stronger, and I'm more dominant than she could ever dream of being. Lyra may have some fancy moves, but when it comes down to it, size and strength matter in this business. And tonight, I will make an example out of her friend Tatum Paxley. And what do you hope to achieve with this declaration? I want the world to see that TNA's women's division is not here to play second fiddle to anyone. We're here to dominate. Tatum Paxley will be the first victim. Lyra will be the second. Well, thank you for your time, I guess. And here comes Tatum Paxley, folks. The woman who's been stalking Lyra Valkyria for weeks later became her best friend. And now looking to make her mark in the ring against Jordan Grace the person who attacked Lyra from behind last week. Okay, indeed, Cole. But let's not forget Jordan Grace's words from earlier. She made it clear that she sees herself as superior to Lyra, and I have a feeling Tatum might actually be made an example of tonight. And now, ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves for the arrival of Jordan Grace. This woman is an absolute powerhouse, known for her incredible strength and dominance in the ring. Now, yeah, you said it, Cole. Jordan Grace has made a name for herself as one of the most formidable competitors in the industry. Her accolades in the indies and in TNA speak volumes about her skill and prowess. Just look at the sheer power of Jordan Grace, Corey. This woman is a behemoth, and I wouldn't want to be in Tatum Paxley's shoes tonight. Absolutely, Cole. Jordan Grace, Adria has dominated opponents of all shapes and sizes with her raw strength. I, I, if I were Lyra Valkyria, I'd be very, very concerned right about now. 
and Jordan Grace wasting no time in taking control of this match. She's showcasing her immense strength with those devastating slams and suplexes. Tatum Paxley is finding out firsthand just how powerful Jordan Grace truly is. It's like trying to stop a freight train. Tatum Paxley is in serious trouble here, Corey. She's being manhandled by Jordan Grace, who's leaving nothing to chance in this matchup. It's like watching a lion play with its prey, Cole. Jordan Grace is toying with, with Tatum Paxley, asserting her dominance with every move. Jordan Grace is an absolute powerhouse, Corey. Her strength is unmatched, and Tatum Paxley is feeling the full brunt of it in that ring. Oh, here it comes. Jordan Grace looking to put an exclamation mark on this match with the Grace Driver. What a display of dominance by Jordan Grace. She made that victory look easy. Absolutely, Cole. Um, Jordan showed exactly why she's considered one of the most formidable competitors in the ring. You know, Tatum Paxley just couldn't withstand the sheer power and skill of Jordan Grace. Indeed, Cole. Jordan Grace has made her mark tonight, and I have a feeling the rest of the NXT roster will be taking notice. This is a concerning sight, folks. Tatum Paxley appears to be seriously injured after that brutal match with Jordan Grace. It, it, it's always tough to, to, to see a competitor in this state. But let's hope Tatum can recover quickly from whatever injuries she's sustained. Wait a minute, what is Jordan Grace doing? Tatum Paxley is defenseless. This is despicable, Cole. Uh, Tatum's already down and out, and, and Jordan is adding insult to injury. Somebody needs to stop this. This is going too far. There's no excuse for this kind of behavior. Jordan Grace has crossed the line tonight. Oh my, look who's just pulled into the parking lot, Corey. It's Valkyrie, and she's sporting a brand new look um. tonight. You're right, Cole. Valkyrie's got a whole new vibe going on with that short haircut. But let's not forget why she's rocking this new do. It's all thanks to Bailey's ruthless attack back at Elimination Chamber. Tonight, I step into that ring not as just another name on the roster, but as the future of this division, the Virtuosa. While I'm not here to play games or dance around the ring, no. I'm here for one reason, and one reason only, to make a name for myself. They call me the Fujiwara Armbar Specialist for a reason. I've honed my craft, perfected my technique, and tonight, Valkyrie, you will feel the full force of it. You think you can step into the ring with me and come out unscathed? Think, ah, uh, again. Tonight, Valkyrie, you'll feel the pain the pressure and when you're tapping out when you're begging for mercy you'll learn why they say I'm the best submission wrestler in the game and here comes Valkyrie making her way to the ring with purpose tonight yeah you can feel the intensity radiating off her pole um, Valkyrie's not just stepping into the ring for any ordinary match tonight either uh, you know I'm Zer after what went down last week with Tiffany Stratton's scathing remarks. Valkyrie's got something to prove. That's right, Corey. Tiffany Stratton didn't hold back, labeling Valkyrie as the worst NXT call-up ever. That's got to sting, especially for someone as passionate and driven as Valkyrie. Absolutely, Cole. You can see from the replay here, last week Tiffany Stratton went off on Valkyrie. But you know what they say, adversity breeds determination. And if there's one thing Valkyrie's got in spades, it's determination. Well, if there's anyone who can turn criticism into motivation, it's Valkyrie. Let's see what she's got in store for us tonight as she prepares to take on Diona Perazzo in what promises to be an electrifying matchup. And here we go, folks. The bell has rung, and we're underway with what promises to be a fascinating clash between two very different styles. That's right, Cole. We've got Diana Perazzo, the technical wizard, known for her mastery of submission holds, going head-to-head -head with Valkyrie, the high-flying dynamo who can soar through the air like nobody's business. It's a classic clash of styles, Corey. Diana will be looking to ground Valkyrie, using her technical prowess to wear her down, while Valkyrie will be seeking to take to the skies, utilizing her aerial abilities to keep Diana off balance. Uh, this match could go either way, Cole. If Diana can 
lock in one of those devastating Fujiwara arm bars. It could be lights out for Valkyrie, but if Valkyrie can connect with one of her trademark high-flying maneuvers, it could be game over for Deanna. Wait a minute, what's this? It's Tiffany Stratton making her presence known at ringside. Valkyrie's attention is diverted, and Deanna Perazzo takes advantage with a roll-up. Could this be it? Not quite, Cole. Cool. Valkyrie kicks out at two. Valkyrie's back on her feet, and she looks furious. She's had enough of Tiffany's antics. Valkyrie plants Deanna Perazzo with her finisher, and that's it. The match is over. Well, it seems Tiffany Stratton isn't quite finished here, Corey. She's still at ringside, taunting Valkyrie even after her win. Uh, Tiffany's relentless with her mockery, but it looks like she's not planning to back it up with action. Wait a minute. Tiffany's stepping up to the apron now. Is she actually going to confront Valkyrie face to face? But hold on. Tiffany drops down from the apron, and she's walking away. The crowd is booing heavily, clearly disappointed by Tiffany's cowardly retreat. Um, unbelievable, Cole. Uh, Tiffany talked a big game, but when it comes down to it, she's all bark and no bite. 